Saab officials have said that the Indian Air Force has made it mandatory that the contenders in the $20 billion MRFA program must have at least 75% availability rate, and Saab Group has made a commitment that the Gripen E will have 90% availability rate across its fleet of 114 fighter jets. They also said that the Gripen E will be in the same class as the Tejas Mark II and will also use the same F-414 engine. The Gripen is equipped with Meteor rare-to-air missile, which is already equipped on the 36 Rafale fleet of the Indian Air Force, and due to the modular approach of weapons integration on the Gripen, the integration of Indian air-to-air -air missiles like Astra Mark 1 and Astra Mark 2 will be as simple and convenient as updating an application in the aircraft. Boeing is planning to close down the production line of its F-A-18 Super Hornet by 2025, and has offered to shift the production line to India, if the Indian Navy agrees to order the originally intended order of 57 aircraft under multi-role carrier Bone fighter tender, instead of the reduced number of 26 aircraft. The Indian Navy has reduced the numbers to 26 units to support the upcoming indigenous TED BF program that will go into production from 2032 onwards. The Navy chief has said that both the FA-18 and Rafale meets the requirements for INSV grant, and a selection between them will be the government's decision. As part of the 100 Swarm drone contract signed in 2021, New Space Research and Technologies Private Limited has delivered two types of autonomous surveillance and armed drone swarms to the Indian Army this week, that includes a Beluga hexacopter and a Nimbus Mark III quadcopter. Both the UAVs feature a 50 km radius of operation and an endurance of 3 hours, and are optimized for planes and high-altitude areas with swarming capability. The Indian Navy plans to develop a super aircraft carrier that will have a displacement of over 65,000 tons, and the Navy has estimated that it will cost over $5 billion. It will feature the latest generation of electromagnetic catapults and advanced arresting gear, that will alone cost over $1 billion, which will enable the Navy to operate Hale-class UAV's unmanned combat aerial vehicle and TED BF fifth-generation minus aircraft. The super aircraft carrier will replace the INSV Kramaditya when it is due for retirement in 2028. The Indian Army is all set to procure 163 high-altitude logistic drones through fast-track procedure under the by indian category. It must have at least 60% indigenous content, a color day video camera, monochromatic night thermal sensor, container for carriage of stores, and three sets of spare batteries. It must have a payload capacity of 10 kg, and must feature fully autonomous mode, manual mode and return to home mode.